This video is about our trip down to the Kato, which is a remote river system about two hour drive away from here. It's about a 40 minute drive in the boat out to the front of the river where we did our fishing. Now we ended up getting some really nice barra, got some really big crabs too, so should end up being a really good video. And stick around to the end and make sure if you haven't already, like and subscribe. And if you do enjoy the video, it'd be awesome if you could share it with a few friends, help get us out there. So let's get into it. See you when action stops. <laughs> <laughs> Right on the road, heading. We will see you in two and a half hours. And we're at the Kato. Right on, we just arrived at the Kato. Someone down there launching now, so we're just getting the boat ready. I'll start grabbing. Mitchell, you want to grab that stuff out of the car? The GoPro drone and stuff. Fair bit of mud on the old, I mean, not mud, dust on the motor. Yeah. That's all right. Hopefully we can get some bar. Yeah, let's get some buzz dogs. Hopefully they're biting. Oh, haven't been to the Kato in a while, eh, Cody? Me and Katie, me and Cody came down with, um, yeah, Jim and Pat a few, I don't know what, a month ago, month or two months ago. We got a few bar. It's warmed up a bit since then, so hopefully the barra bite a bit more. I'm gonna get in now and pack everything and um, we'll see you on the water. So, we made it out to the mouth of the creek. We come up another little creek. We're gonna chuck the crab pots in here and then we're gonna go and have a bit of a look for a fish. We've just set all the pots. So we just got our rods rigged up, we've cruised out to the front of this creek where we set the pots. And we're just going to have a bit of a flick around here and see if we get a barra. And if we can't, we're going to cruise over that way probably and have a flick over there. Just going to see what happens. Flick around, around trees or snags or something. And then once the tide starts going down a bit, we might go fish some drains. But we're just going to fish these, fish around here for a bit and hopefully get on a couple of barra. See how we go. Cody's just hooked the first fish of the day. Just a little rat. Good sign. I was at first cast and took for tall timbers. First or second cast. Grab the fragment, Cody. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Quick release. First barrel landed. Good start. Yep. I'll leave this fragment up here. We'll get back at it and keep cast and see if we can get another one. Got a, got a little barrel on. Bit of a tangle up. Whoa, he's still on. Red him as well. Yeah. Any more jumps left in him? That little bubba. Didn't get real good footage, but anyway. Another barra's a barra. Too bad. Mid 40s. Absolutely smash that little prawn down. I get lost inside my thoughts, and when I start to think, all oh, the time, how close it starts to end up on the brink. I tried so hard, but all these scars they cut so deep I bleed. I fell so fast from heaven, it's like someone clipped my wings. Now I'm falling, and I can't see the ground. Can we stop this gravity? It keeps bringing me down.
Josh, I'm going to film you and get one this cast. Meet a ten. Come, okay, Mitch, you then. I hooked an absolute monster queenie. Ooh. Just worked out, it's hooked. Pretty big. <laughs> Good queen that bar, isn't it? Mitch, you gonna get the net ready? Oh, something just smashed right up there. Yeah, it's shit around. That queen didn't even know it was hooked. Yeah, yeah. at the start. <laughs> get a photo of this, but plenty of photos. That rod sitting up there too. You get a Jump bit of a again, fight still in front of you. Yeah. Creeks, they don't get fish much. It's in about a metre and a half of water. Nice queenie. Big queenie, dogs. That these are hanging outside of his mouth. These queenies, we just spear them because they're especially here, you don't want to get eaten by a crocodile, but he's off. Not to be seen again. Right, though, let's go and get some barrel. That's not what we want. Time for a bit of breaky, Mitch. What have we got so far? Two barrel. Three barrel. Some more cleanies. Righto, so we're going to go pull the pots now. And just as we're starting to leave, what we assume is a commercial netting boat. I think we can see nets in that boat there. And it's just like, it's legal. They're allowed to net in these creeks, but I don't think they should be able to. It's remote. A lot of people come here to chase barrow, and it's just. Yeah, I don't know. Not good, I don't think. We're just coming in now to check the pots. We just had a bit of a fish, got a couple barrel. So I hope we can get a few crabs in the pots. 
I think our first pot is just up there in that drain. I don't know if you can see that float. Yeah, that's the first one. Second one's just up there. No. Nothing. Nothing in the first pot. One didn't have anything in it, so we're just pulling up to the next pot here. Hopefully this one's got a couple of bucks in it. Or just one would be nice. Just a good start. Hopefully a big one. Big buck. There's a good buck. Oh, look at him. What a stonker. That's a good crowd, that buck. He's massive. That is a big crowd. Look at the nipper on him. That's a big crowd. That's bigger than my hand. Holy shit. Holy shit. That is a big crowd. Jenny's in there and a caddy. Mitch is pulling up fourth pot, I think. And little Jenny's again. Yeah. Big crab, that dog. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's a good crab. Holy shit. That is a stonker. That is an absolute horse. That, that. Pretty big crab, that one. He's full too, I think. Probably measure him, see how big he is. Oh, shit. We'll measure him, will he? After getting those crabs, we decided we we're going to go fish the run out on the drains. And here, it was just really hectic. We weren't talking too much. There's just a lot of clips. So I decided to turn it into a montage. So hope you enjoy. Let's get into it.
there we've had about five cars in there. Can you still see him? Yeah. yeah. Get enough lures at him, he's got to take one, doesn't he? Just not active at the moment for some reason. The fish, they just. Oh, yep. yep. Cody got him. Mitchell, get out of the way. He's good fish, <laughs> we saw that fish. We saw that fish. That I got all that on video too. I did use the fish. You make a rod. <laughs> that was cool. That was a good fish too. <laughs> so I got that on camera too. Yeah, I got the GoPro on too. So I wonder how many fish we're casting at and just not they're not feeding much of them. Yeah. Nearly had hit him on the head with it. We did cut the one time, I <laughs> Might have been what he needed to wake him up with. Nice. That's I a good fish. A good fish. Yes. That's probably bigger than mine. Nice fish. Solid bass. I thought Mitchell hit him, like I thought Mitchell ran his lure into him, but clearly was around the GoPro. Nice fish. Barrier. That's a decent barrier. We've just come out to a um, bit of a rock bar out here. The fish before I just dropped a barrel about a couple of minutes ago. Pretty close legal, I thought. We don't, yeah, all fish are good, but there's a, um, you've got to be, uh, most barrow over 55, so hopefully he's an eagle. Anyway, we'll measure him up, get a photo, get back to him and see if we get a couple. Yep, that's fish. Oh, that's a better fish too. I think it's a bit better. Oh, it feels good. What's the tiny? Yeah, I think it's bar. Watch it. Oh, it's bar. I saw it come to the surface. I'm pretty sure it's bar. I'm pretty sure it's bar. I saw it come up. Yeah, it's bar. This side? I don't know. I just saw the tail. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, he's close to the biggest one. Yeah, he's close to 60. Rock bar might be firing. Have a chance of good fish, like at night time. Yeah. Well, I need the mouth of any of these creeks with blades. Now the fish landed. I asked for a barren again. What is on this tongue? Look at its tongue. Yeah, they're bloody bugs, parasites. Reds get them too. Yeah, I'd say they just feed off of fish. Grubby little bastards. Get it because it's grubby. Uh, yeah, shit would that be? We haven't had a fish for three years. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been, uh, last few hours have been pretty quiet. Oh, mate, I'm pretty sure I'm going to eat. No, you didn't. Maybe not. 
it's the running tide now and yeah not, there's not much movement it's not much bait moving there certainly doesn't seem to be much barrow moving it's not much light left we're just cruising along pulled up this sort of a half little creek gutter thing having a quick car that's one of his in two hours yeah we haven't really caught much in a while we're just going slow so because we're waiting for the tide to come in a bit more to pull the boat out a bit later mm. so we're just trying to kill a bit of time at the moment Cody's giving us a 2.3% chance of catching a barra, so I'm determined to get one. Still point three. Mitchell's had enough. He hadn't had a cast for a while in his new Bootwake Boys cap. Which head up, Mitch? Look out. Pretty cool cap. Something for the video. Yep. Oh, piss off. That's a good that, that is too. <laughs> is it? I'll take a tarp on at the moment. <laughs> oh, it's metering. I thought it was a metering. I thought that was going to be a good one too. Yeah, the way it was like the outside. What'd you see? A jump. Yeah. A little tarpon. Oh, Big dog tarpon. Oh, whoa. Whoa, big tarpon. That's a big tarpon, brother. Yeah, brother. Did you see a tarpon? Yeah. It's a marine shark. <laughs> <laughs> that goes to show how our day's going, Miss Harvey. You go, I don't think we put it in the net, will we? Just don't let him swing around and bite you. Wow. That is Be careful, we don't want anyone to get bit. No, it's been a good day. Oh, it's just... summed up our last three hours of fishing. Yeah, that incoming tide sucks. Yeah. We've got to work out a plan. You'll have to get him in. Just put the flies down and he'll just it'll come out. It's just in the flies. No, you won't. Mate, our luck's not been the best lately. I'm not risking it. Look at these little sucker fish just fell off him. Remora. Flies, Mitch. They're right. What is he? What sort of shark do you reckon? Maybe a little black tip reefy by looks of it. Let's see these for you. Goes to show how good our afternoon has been. Right, we're going to get him back. Little shit. Give us a barra. Put it on your hands. Stick it How about no? Yeah. Remora stinky it, it, scum. It, it, we start fighting now, we're a bit bored. Oh. Remora is dirty scum. It's a well worked. Oh, I've got a money tree. We've got no ideas even of where to try. We always hate incoming tide for Barramundi. But Dogs are pissed off. We don't know where any rock bars are or deeper holes. We just went over a fish on the sounder, but I bet it's probably another shark. We need to find a deeper hole and I want to find a rock, rock bar. bar. It's on a corner like that, but it must be that. One. It is a pretty nice spot, but we're pretty lucky to be here. We just head back, see crocs in the last couple of k's so we just see if we can spot one for you. Pretty cool at night, spotlights cruising up these creeks. Hopefully we'll see some, I'll show you a croc in a minute. Now I've got the camera out, we'll probably all hide. Alright, so we've got the boat on the trailer. Very happy about that. And um, one thing we noticed when we got the boat on Charlie, Dad took the bung out and I don't know if see back here, but all that water, it's all run down into the trees down there. It was all in the boat. And we're not sure what's happened. There may have been a little bit in there from last time, but it's definitely not that much water. We're not sure whether it's leaked in from the back or a crack or something. And yeah, 
very bad because the very isolated out here. I think there's one other boat in there out camping somewhere. So yeah, pretty dangerous really, but it's all right. Back on the trailer now. So I we'll have to sort that out before we come down here next time. We'll take the boat out, but yeah, it's happy to be back now. We just gotta get back home now. If you stuck around to the end, thanks a lot. If you haven't, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do and leave us a like. What do you got to say, Mitch? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, see you next time. Say goodbye.